Have you ever wanted to take an impressive screenshot? Ever wanted to stop making screenshots that look absolutely terrible? Kind of a no-brainer, but if so, this is the perfect video for you. You don't need to have any photography experience whatsoever, so don't get worried about that. I'll be going through the simple stuff first, and then moving on to things that require a bit of third-party software. First of all, forget about taking screenshots using the C key. Nine times out of ten, they're just not gonna look that great. The only situations where a C key screenshot would be acceptable, a screenshot using the replay would work just the same, and better. If you find yourself in a rather scenic situation and want to capture the beauty of it all, Instead of hiding the HUD and panning around to take the screenshot, wait until the match you're in is over and save the replay of it. Once you're in replay mode, press the F button to switch over to the free cam mode. From here, you can move the camera anywhere you want. By default, you can use the WASD keys to move the camera around. This is how you're going to get the base for your screenshot. A tip I would suggest here is to position the camera farther away from the subject, and then zoom in. This gives the vehicle in question a much more appealing look and will oftentimes look a lot more professional. Another tip I would give you is to make sure that your subject takes up the majority of the screen space. For obvious reasons, you want to have the subject of your screenshot have the most clarity and prominence. Once you have the position you want, Press the button you have bound to your hide HUD command, and press the screenshot key. Now this next segment will require a NVIDIA GPU. The reason behind this is because we're going to be using NVIDIA Ansel, a built-in photo making app that lets you take amazing screenshots. To open it, Press Alt F2 while in game. This will pop up the Anzo menu where we can start editing the screenshot. First of all, Anzo has what is most frequently used in screenshots, filters. By default, Anzo only really has a few useful filters, which can do quite a lot to improve the quality of your picture. You can edit the contrast, brightness, sharpness, temperature, and more. There is also a depth of field feature, which lets you blur out the background. In addition to that, there are some camera options you can change while in the Ansel menu. For one, you can change both the camera's FOV and roll. This will allow you to have some more variation in your photo, although it isn't entirely necessary to do it through Ansel, as War Thunder's free cam supports both of those features. You don't have to be in a replay to use Anzo though. You can use Anzo while sitting in the hangar as well. You can freely move the camera around by pressing W, A, S, and D. And by no means is Anzo inadequate for taking brilliant screenshots, it's an incredibly powerful tool that thousands of people use on a daily basis. But just because it's good, doesn't mean it can't be improved. Something that was added a while back was support for reshade filters through GeForce Experience. This is what I used in order to have this many filters in my filter list. Reshade is a popular tool that a lot of people use to add different effects to their games. Reshade has to be injected in order for it to work, so many developers do not support this, as it can seem a little shady. But with this, all you have to do is the following. First. Download the pack from the description below. Once you have it downloaded, copy the contents of the zip file, then navigate to your Anzo folder. You can find it by going to your C drive, then to Program Files, NVIDIA Corporation, then Anzo. If you don't have an Anzo folder, you can just create one. Once inside the Anzo folder, just simply press Paste. After that, you're going to want to open GeForce Experience for one simple thing. 
Once open, all you have to do is click settings, then check enable experimental features. This is what allows you to actually use these new filters. So when you open up War Thunder, open up Anzil. The new list of filters should be there, ready to use. These reshade filters are extremely powerful, and in the right hands can convert an ordinary screenshot into a stunning masterpiece. Even if you have no idea what anything in the filters mean, you can still just try and mess around with the settings, and find out whether or not they look good. There are no objectively perfect settings to use. How your pictures appear to you is all that should matter. So go crazy, and have fun making screenshots. And remember, art is subjective.